Slam the door. Now. You don't like me. I think you're scum. Whoa. Holy shit, that fucking scared the fuck out of me. In tonight's episode, the team delves into the chilling mystery of the Velisca Axe murder house. Do the souls of the victims still haunt these walls? Are there restless spirits forever bound to this place? And does the dark presence of the killer still cast its shadow over the house? For this investigation, the team is joined by expert psychic Freddie Williams. Will he be able to connect with the restless spirit said to haunt this notorious site? The story of this house is a tragic one. In 1912, the Moore family, known for their kindness, slept peacefully in their beds, unaware that an intruder was lurking in the attic, waiting for the perfect moment. Methodically, the killer crept through the home, entering each bedroom and brutally bludgeoning the sleeping family with an axe. By the time the horror ended, all six members of the Moore family, along with two house guests, lay dead. The murderer then set the axe aside and vanished into the night, never to be caught or identified. The house still stands today, preserved in its original state, fueling the belief that the souls from the tragic night remain trapped within its walls, unable to move on. Some even speculate that the dark presence of the killer still lingers, haunting the attic where the terror began. The team is eager to explore this infamous site, convinced that it could be one of the most haunted locations in America. For renowned paranormal investigator Mike Stoklasa, this is a location he's long been eager to explore. He feels a profound connection to the house, drawn by its dark history and lingering mysteries. As soon as they step inside the house, the team already begins to experience unexplainable activity. Uh, all I'm saying is we have these batteries, these Canon batteries that we use for all of our cameras. Uh, there's a little meter, and this was fully charged when we came in. How long did we shoot for? Like 35, 45 minutes? 30 minutes, minutes yeah. Uh, this should not be down to just two bars already. Okay. It's like mostly drained yeah. uh, in just the time we've been here, and that's usually not the, it usually doesn't drain that quickly. Yeah. That yeah. The psychic Freddie Williams, who claims to have no prior knowledge of the house, seems to connect to the victims. What about any, like, names or letters? Oh, Sarah? If that's a real name, I promise I don't know. Freddie has astonishingly identified Sarah Moore, the mother of the family. The psychic goes on to identify the father, Josiah, and even the family name, Moore. Mike then confirms to Freddy that his revelations were spot on. So we are at the top of the stairs, uh, which leads right into the parents' bedroom. You were right with your J, Josiah, and you were right with Sarah. Okay. And you were also right with M, their last name is Moore. Josiah and Sarah Moore. Okay. As the investigation gets underway, Rich Evans hangs up paper streamers to check for drafts in the house. This simple method will help the team debunk any potential false activity that could be caused by the wind. Rich and Mike investigate the parents' bedroom using EMF meters when suddenly the devices begin to spike. Okay, we are getting, uh, we're getting, we're up to 20, 25? A spike could mean a surge in unexplained energy. So yeah, we're getting... Could I do my phone? I brought, I did bring my phone up. Bring it closer. It's probably your phone. It's probably my phone. Rich realizes his phone is likely causing the surge. This is debunked. Meanwhile, in the other room, a static camera catches this. At first, you might think it's just the wind, but the same night, the team confirms that the house is eerily still. And and it is dead calm in here. There is just no, there's not a single molecule of oxygen moving no. around. It's a, there's no breeze. It's not drafty. It, def it definitely doesn't oh, feel drafty. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it is <laughs> really, really still. Could this be one of the children playing with these new dangling streamers? Mike and Rich remain in the parents' bedroom using the Ovlis device, 
a tool that lets spirits communicate by converting environmental readings into words or sounds. The ovlus becomes highly active. Difficult. Wanted. Broken. Okay. Um, are you saying wanted as in uh, the, the killer is still wanted? That night on June 10th, 1912. Paper. paper. While the word paper may seem random, remember just moments ago the paper in the other room moved. Is this the same spirit? Mike and Rich move into the children's bedroom, trying to reach out. I figured I would do something nice for you. Uh, I don't know much about what children liked in 1912, but I do know that children in the modern day love what I'm about to show you. We see an unexplained anomaly fly into the REM pod. Is this the same spirit following them? As you can see, its movement isn't random, but deliberate, intelligently moving to trigger the REM pod. In the attic, the REM pod suddenly activates, prompting the team to rush in and investigate. Another static camera in the children's room picks up this light anomaly. Back in the attic, things go quiet. Mike decides to employ a dangerous tactic, provoking the spirit of the killer. If you don't like me, I think you're scum. Obviously you're a coward. You're a coward because you can't even touch that red light over there. You can't even move a little baby block. You're hiding in this house because you're scared of us. Oh, well, you're really provoking them. This is a risky move, as dark spirits are known to draw energy from this sort of engagement. Just as Mike finishes, the REM pod triggers. Somebody in here? Someone touching that? This camera, camera has on. You're right, Freddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's going crazy. Oh, here. Angry. Angry? Oh. Who? Nerve? Are you saying that you're angry because we had the nerve to call you out? Are you angry that we were insulting you? Are you angry that we provoked you? Are you angry that we insulted you, or are you angry that we got information wrong? Whoa. Everybody back up. Just in case. <laughs> Holy shit, that... Fuck it, it's scared the fuck out of Psychic Freddie Williams hears a knock in the darkness and assumes it's Jay laughing it off. What he doesn't realize is that Jay is actually crouching on the opposite side of the room. <laughs> Holy shit, that fuck it, it's scared the fuck out of here. <laughs> Holy shit, that. Is it mere coincidence that the REM pod shows such intense activity immediately after Mike's provocation? I think you're scum. This surge of energy can only be explained by an enraged spirit. What's even more chilling is the thought. Could the team actually be in the same room as the killer? The REM pod begins to die down, but before leaving, Mike snaps this photo of the attic. 
So here we are. This is the situation. I have the Zoom recorder going. We're going to try to get an EVP. Um, we have two REM pods. One I've placed on the entrance to the attic to see if anything passes in and out of the attic. One is to the right of me. We have a trigger object, a teddy bear. Mike and Freddy use the Ovlis again and hear a familiar word. It's so, mentioned drawing and paper. Yeah, many times. What is it with paper? It truly seems that the paper streamers have captured the attention of one of the spirits. If if a ghost is in this room, do you feel angry? Angry. Is there any spirit in this room that feels angry? Is this odd to them? I picked it up and I brought it right here and it said legs. legs. <laughs> As the team prepares to wrap up for the night, Mike makes a bold decision to investigate alone. Believing his deep fascination with the house gives him the best chance of a personal encounter, especially after provoking the potential killer. He hopes his presence will stir the lingering spirits within the house. stairs. Mike could be putting himself in serious danger. If the murderer truly haunts this house and is the entity that was lurking in the attic, Mike may have unwittingly exposed himself to violent poltergeist activity. Mike approaches the infamous closet door. Previous paranormal investigators have captured footage of it mysteriously closing on its own. Now, Mike hopes to witness this chilling phenomenon firsthand. Slam the door. Now. The door doesn't close. However, Mike's recorder captures this EVP. Despite not seeing the door close, Mike may have caught the voice of the killer. And with that, the investigation comes to a close. The team leaves the Velisca Axe murder house, having undoubtedly experienced something unsettling. From the movement of the paper streamers, to the strange activity in the attic, and the voices captured on tape, this investigation has revealed the undeniable presence of something within the house. Are the victims of that tragic night still trapped here? Does the axe murderer's dark spirit still linger? The crew's findings point to one chilling conclusion. The house may indeed be haunted by both restless spirits and a malevolent force in the attic. With that, this case is closed. Next time on RLM Paranormal Investigations, the team takes on the legendary Queen Mary. Will they encounter the spirits said to haunt this majestic ship? Can they uncover the mysteries and finally reveal who or what still lingers aboard?